myths about social media and businesses. This is this is kind of interesting because there's a lot of things that people say, like myths. For an example, I have I was, I was speaking with a colleague of mine the other day, and he was like, I he was like talking about the seminar. He's like, yeah, I went to CTS in New York, like you said, we have social media one on one, and kind of introduce it. And he was like, yeah, I was like, yeah, well, you know, you should do this. This is something you know, you should have a Facebook page, you should have People already know me. And I was like, okay, I understand because he is a very successful person. He has a great business, he has a great product. Um, and I'm, at the same time, if you think that everybody already knows you, but that's your small niche. There's a whole world of life out there that doesn't know who you are. So one of the big things is, oh, Facebook is important. Or I don't, you know, everybody already knows who I am. But if Bob comes around and has a different, different software that's a little bit bigger or better, then and he has a Twitter page, and he's got a Facebook page, and he's got all these different following him, he's going to override this person that doesn't need it. And they're going to forget about that. So one of the hugest things is, is, is Facebook. Facebook's not worth my time. Twitter's not worth my time. But then the day, looking at the stats that I showed you, it is worth your time. Now there's effort involved in it. And that's something that, you know, it takes five to ten minutes every day. You can allocate those, that you know, ten minutes to your day, then you can easily do it. That's one of the biggest myths is just thinking that it's not for it is. It's the, the leader of traffic right now out there. Um, people think that if they create a profile page or a business page, they think it's kind of the website technology where they say I built a website and they follow. It's the same exact thing. You know, once you build a social networking, they're not going to find you unless you start getting the activities going. And then once the activities go, then you can let it free and you can let it do its own thing. But you're going to still want to monitor it so you never know if it's show up on there. Um, so one of the other myths is, oh, I have a Facebook page, but it's not working for me. you got to work with it. And then let it go and do its own thing. Um, social media is for broadcasting. Absolutely not. I mean, social media in the past, that's what it was for. It was for videos. That's what YouTube was all about. But at the same time, you could put videos on every single one. And what's the best way to capture your audience? Nobody wants to read text. People want to look at pictures and videos. So if you have a product, or you have a service, or you have anything, do a video, a short two minute blurb on it, throw that up, viral around it, Facebook about it, and then people can capture it from there. So it's not about broadcasting, it's not for news only. It's not for journalists only. It's for anybody that has an audience that they want to be able to be branded, etc. 